Oh, that's a tough one. My favorite book or movie. Uh, my favorite movie is probably uh, Sleepers, which is uh, a movie about a bunch of kids who grow up in New York and uh, they do something a little silly when they're about 12 or 13 years old and it changes their lives forever. My dream job? <laughs> well, what I'd be good at. Uh, if I wasn't a coach early on, I just kind of thought, like uh, most of the guys I grew up with and f was friendly with, I'd be a cop or a fireman. Honorable job, you work hard, it's, you know, you, you serve the people, that type of thing. And uh, the crazy road kind of got me into coaching. But uh, after I'm done with coaching, I'll probably caddy and bartend. And I'll, those are probably the two things I'm best at. Wow, now you're really showing my age here. <laughs> our first concert. I think, I, I think my first concert, I might have seen B.B. King when I was about 14 years old with a couple of uh, the older guys from my neighborhood. They dragged me along. So uh, that might have been the first one. Uh, well, I think people, you know, it's funny. People who know me professionally, um, see me much differently than people who I've known my entire life. I mean, I have a lot of different uh, interests. You know, I read quite a bit. I, uh, I, I like to travel. I, uh, I'm not consumed with basketball. And that's either a good thing or a bad thing. You know, maybe I could be a much better coach if I was consumed. I kind of feel like you have to have balance in your life. And you have to enjoy doing a lot of different things. And, uh, and I think that's one of my strengths. In coaching? In coaching. Uh, probably Roly Massimino. You know, I work for Coach Mass as an assistant. Uh, he and I are still very, very close. We, uh, we talk a couple times a week. He's like a second dad to me. And not just because of the basketball he taught me, but he just taught me every aspect of what it was to be a coach. And no matter what, not to lose sight of the fact that you're still a teacher. And, uh, you know, they might be a lot bigger and a lot stronger than uh, the elementary school kids I used to teach, but you're still teaching them. And it's still your responsibility to help them become good men. No, not really. Uh, it's just the longest hour of the day. You know, I, had, I probably had you know, ADD long before it was given a name, you know, and I kind of bounce around a little bit. But no, I don't do anything too, uh, too routine with it. Uh, in different arenas, I'll do different things. I, you know, I had a couple places where I had my favorite popcorn in the CAA, so I'll have to go through the, uh, the A-10 and see who's got the best popcorn in their arena, and I can get back to you next year on that. Uh, probably football, you know, uh, on uh, college football, NFL football on the weekends. My, uh, our youngest child, my son, we have two girls and a boy. He tells me all the time, Dad, I'm not playing basketball, I'm playing football. And I, t I tell him, you can play the piano, just be good at it, man, whatever you do. Uh, I'd probably burn that book and start all over because if I knew I was going to have to know all 700 pages of that, I would have just been a lawyer instead of a basketball coach. <laughs>